Was I wrong? For the last four and a half years, I've been predicting that Donald Trump would become the biblical antichrist of Revelation 13. I explained all my reasons verse by verse through Revelation 13, and then monitored the news during his administration, just waiting for the day when something would trigger him to be possessed by Satan, like Judas Iscariot was, and turn into the Antichrist, persecuting Christians and destroying churches all around the world. Was I wrong about that? Since the time of my first prediction video, I've found myself constantly defending him as being the greatest U.S. president we've ever had. I kept saying he's not the Antichrist yet, and I hope it never actually happens. That wish might have come true, but at what expense? I predicted that he would easily win re-election by an even bigger landslide than the first time. And yes, it was a landslide the first time, once you recognize all the DNC's failed attempts to steal it from him. But here we are in 2021, and he's no longer commander-in-chief. That must mean I was wrong, right? Well, I sure hope so. But not so fast. He's not dead yet. There are still multiple ways for my prediction to come true, even if it takes several more years to finally happen. But first, let's look at what I hope actually happened here. Many people were comparing Trump to King Cyrus because he moved the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, recognizing Jerusalem as the official capital of Israel. I admit I see the parallel, but I'd like to present another biblical par parallel that might make sense too. During the divided kingdom of Israel and Judah in the Old Testament, all the various kings were described as being either good or bad. All of them in Israel were bad, but many of them in Judah were good. The last good one was named Josiah. He was even prophesied by name to come before he was even born. Josiah did a lot of good things fighting against the evil of his day. But ultimately, he ended up being killed when he went up against an Egyptian pharaoh who was trying to war against Assyria. He came in between two warring factions that he had nothing to do with and paid the price. And as of his death, the rest of the kings of Judah were all bad and Babylon eventually conquered Judah. Now, that was God's plan all along. Even though Josiah is described as the best king they ever had, it was already too late for Judah because of all the evil that the previous kings had done. There was no way for Josiah to turn back the wrath that God had planned for Judah. They had a temporary moment of goodness in the land of Judah, a revival, if you will, under King Josiah. But the hammer was still about to fall no matter what. Assyria defeated the northern tribes of Israel, Egypt took out King Josiah, and Babylon was about to wipe out Judah as a nation. So what's the parallel here? If Donald Trump never returns to power, then I see him as our King Josiah, before our final destruction. He did a lot of good and truly made America great again in many ways. My previous videos outline all of that. But he was up against a worldly power that he didn't fully understand and truly underestimated. The newest term for it seems to be the deep state, but there's many other names you could call them. The depths of their evil goes lower than any average person could imagine. Hollywood movies tell some of the stories and make you think it's just fiction, but it's not. The people who make a lifestyle of unspeakable evil will go to any length to achieve their goals, and Trump got in their way. America has been plagued with corruption in its highest places for a long time now, longer than any of us know, longer than any of us has even been alive. There was corruption in the original founding in 1776. There was corruption during the Civil War. There was corruption during World War I, World War II, the Vietnam War, 9-11, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. Are you starting to see a pattern yet? The devil loves war. There's a lot of money to be made from war. 
and certain bankers centuries ago learned how to finance both sides of the wars so that everyone is indebted to them. This is nothing new. The people who control the money control the world. So when some billionaire comes in and takes over their finely tuned machine, they needed to get rid of him however they can. Hillary wasn't able to steal it from him. The Washington insiders weren't able to turn him to the dark side. The porn star accusations didn't work. Comey wasn't able to frame him. The Russian collusion hoax didn't work. The phone call impeachment didn't work. And every assassination attempt that nobody publicly knows about failed. I'm surprised he made it through his entire four-year term. And these people are so crazy, they tried to impeach him a second time after he was already out of office. Why? Because they don't want him coming back ev again ever. But will he? It sure seems pretty obvious that he'll run again in 2024. I don't think his age will be a factor at all. And can you imagine how upset they will be if he comes back again and somehow, despite all their fraudulent attempts, wins the 2024 election? I mean, their fraud was so blatant in 2020. Just think how blatant their assassination attempt will be in 2024 or 2025. They won't care who knows. They've mastered the art of plausible deniability. They'll set some Oswald up to take the fall, but that would then put my prediction back, right back on track. But what if he doesn't run? What if he dies? Well, then I guess I was wrong, and I'll be glad about that. But here's the thing. Somebody is going to become the Antichrist eventually. I don't see the guy currently in office becoming the Antichrist. He can barely talk. I don't see him ever claiming to be God. And his second in command isn't a man. And I believe scripture describes the Antichrist as a man. So will the Antichrist come out of the deep state? Someone we don't know yet? They certainly are anti-Christian enough, that's for sure. But I just can't see the majority of people willingly bowing down to anyone in the deep state. And it seems the Antichrist will be loved by everyone. Well, almost everyone. We Christians will never accept him. Now, how about this? What if I was wrong about which Trump it would be? The Bible mentions the last Trump, which means there was a first Trump. Yes, I believe that's talking about the seven trumpets of Revelation. But still, if Donald Trump is a parallel of Josiah, maybe it's the children of Donald Trump who end up being a parallel to Josiah's evil children. My eye is obviously on Don Jr. But who knows, at this point, my expected timeline has been interrupted. What if it's Eric? What if it's Baron? That I have to doubt because he wouldn't be eligible to become president until 2045. And considering Jesus was here around 32 AD, I'm also expecting his return to be approximately 2,000 years later at the most. So who knows? Maybe the winner of the 2028 election is our future Antichrist. Will it be someone named Trump? Will it be Don Jr.'s second term? Hmm. Just keep watching, people.